happy Saturday. I'm meteorologist Sarah Spivey with a look ahead to your Saturday forecast as well as the overnight forecast where we have the potential for some strong to severe storms. But for Saturday itself, maybe just one or two pop up showers. We're only going to go for a 20% chance for isolated rain on Saturday. It's going to stay pretty cloudy all day. We will see a few peaks of sunshine in the afternoon and that'll be just enough to allow our afternoon temperatures to reach 80 degrees. It'll be breezy too today with winds from the southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. But again, our attention in the forecast is really focused on tonight into early Easter Sunday morning. Let's go ahead and take you through the future cast late tonight, right around midnight. A broken line of storms will develop out near the Del Rio Rock Springs area. And as that broken line moves eastward, there is the potential for some of those storms to become strong or severe. The key words here are broken line of storms. Not everybody will see storms and the potential for these storms to become severe. If these storms have enough oomph, they could produce potentially quarter size hail or even gusty winds right along the leading edge of up to 60 to 65 miles per hour. The best time frame to see storms here in San Antonio will be between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. early Easter Sunday morning. But before the sun rises, we're going to start to see skies clear on Easter. Everything will be moving out of here. Easter all day will be really nice. A little on the windy side, but definitely sunny. Sunny rather. Winds will be from the uh, west at about 25 miles per hour at times. But there is that severe threat overnight. We're in an enhanced risk for severe weather, generally north of Highway 90. Basically, that means that any storms that develop will have the potential to become severe, and if they do, they could produce pale and gusty winds. But Easter Sunday itself will be very pleasant, clearing skies, winds from the west at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, a sunny afternoon near 84 in the afternoon for the high temperature, and then we'll actually see a big drop in high temperatures because the front will arrive early Monday morning. That'll drop our highs down into the 60s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and in fact, whereas last week we were completely cloudy in this upcoming week we are going to be sunny with mornings in the 40s afternoons in the 60s